What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be working on my truck. I'm going to be doing a new steering gearbox, high pressure power steering line, idler arm and pitman arm. Alright, so this is how much play is in the steering wheel. It's a lot of play, it's pretty unsafe, and it's never been replaced, so I'm going to be doing that today. I'm going to start by taking this intake out, intake piping, just so I have more room to get down to the high pressure steering line. Gonna hit these lines with some coil. One, two, three. Okay. Boom, soaking that. I'm just gonna go ahead and undo the negative battery terminal. I'm gonna take the distributor off and unplug the coil wire so I can get better access to the high pressure line. Okay, so I just connected this uh, low pressure from the reservoir. I'm gonna take this off, clean it up, reuse it. The bottom one, high pressure, I'm gonna disconnect it from here and take it out with the box. I'm not even gonna disconnect it from down there. All right, so this high pressure line is a 17 millimeter. So we're gonna put a wrench on it, grab some channel locks. There we go. There we go. Spillage. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. All right, got these lines disconnected. All right, this bolt that has the sleeve. Uh, that's a 12. Alright, now it's time to undo this castle nut. Okay, got this bitch out. All right, I'm gonna get this bolt out. It's a one and a quarter. So I broke down and I rented a Pitman arm puller. Today I'm gonna be using this one. Slide in there. All right, now I'm gonna undo the three bolts holding in the steering gearbox. They are 17 millimeters. There we go. Always one fucking trouble bolt. Take this line off and reuse it. So, 17 millimeter. 
All right, I'm gonna clean this area off that's exposed. Uh, I'm gonna hit it with some brake parts cleaner and a wire brush. I'm just gonna hit it with a little splash of this caliper paint. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this new steering box bolted in. Stone. Okay, so finally got this thing to fit into the sleeve. The trick was is that you gotta wedge something in between right in there and uh, open it up a little bit and then hammer it. I was hammering it in. <sighs> Steering box. Pain in the ass, but it's all lined up. All right guys, uh, day two on the steering box installation. Uh, I'm about to get this pit and arm bolted in. So yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the idler arm on this side. these three bolts are wait of course they're gonna do that oh this one bolt is 17 
Alright, so now I'm going to put this return hose back on. There it is, right there. I'm going to put the high pressure line in first, so just so I have better access to it. Alright, so I got all the lines bolted up. High pressure line, check, return, and something else. I'm not sure what, this, what it does. Yeah, got all these hooked up, so. Alright, I'm going to start it. Quick spin. See how it does. The new steering box and some new shit in it. Oh, it's definitely more responsive. Though. I guess I put some shit on slightly different. <laughs> <laughs> 